I'd like to take a moment for an announcement. Me gustaría tomar un momento para un anuncio. And the announcement is going to be made by Jorge in two languages. Un anuncio que Jorge va a realizar en dos idiomas. Um, uh, we just got some confirmation about the possibility to do this Kundalini tour in the second half of October and first half of November of this year. Um, it depended upon um, some rescheduling of activities with uh, Russians, and they said yes. So that means that we are able to do it. Eh, acabamos de recibir confirmación de la posibilidad de hacer este tour Kundalini en la segunda mitad de octubre, primera mitad de noviembre de este año, y eso dependía realmente de que un grupo de Rusia pudiera reagendar algunas actividades y dijeron que sí, lo cual permite hacer este tour. And um, to me, at least to me, uh, this very channel in this very moment is the first, very first step of that Kundalini tour. Y para mí, esta canalización, este momento exacto en el que estamos ahora, es el primer paso de ese tour Kundalini que va a ocurrir en octubre, noviembre. Uh, we are already in 2012. This is a, a marker. And, um, and here we are at the very bottom or the very top, whichever way you prefer to see it. And uh, I'm ready to begin. Um, estamos en, en, ya en el año 2012 en un marcador y aquí estamos en la parte más abajo, la parte más arriba, como querramos verlo, eh, a punto de estar en un momento muy especial. Ok, are we ready for a Cryon channel? Ok, estamos listos para una canalización de Cryon. Here we go. Greetings, dear ones, I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. Saludos, mis queridos, soy Cryon del Servicio Magnético. My partner is dense. My partner is dense. Mi socio es denso. The partner is the man in the chair with the voice you're hearing. Mi socio es el hombre en la silla con la voz que están escuchando. My personal thanks to those around him to do this particular channeling which was always scheduled. Mis agradecimiento a aquellos que están alrededor de él por esta canalización en particular que siempre estuvo agendada. You are very close to what we would call the tip of the Kundalini. Está muy cerca de lo que llamaríamos la punta del Kundalini. You must look at these things both metaphorically and physically. Deben mirar estas cosas de ambas maneras, metafóricamente y literalmente, y físicamente. In approximately four hours, you will be as close as you're going to be to the land which represents the bottom of the earth. En aproximadamente cuatro horas van a estar tan cerca como puedan estar a la tierra que está abajo del planeta. And we define that as the bottom of the inhabitable planet. Y definimos eso como la parte más abajo del planeta eh, habitable. For the purposes of the channel and for the energies we speak, we will consider it the bottom. Para los propósitos de esta canalización y de la energía que hablaremos, la consideraremos la parte de más abajo. So let us speak of the energies that are here. Entonces hablemos de las energías que están aquí. For more than a decade, we have talked about the movement of the feathered serpent. Por más de una década hemos hablado del movimiento de la serpiente emplumada. This is the metaphor for what has been described as the kundalini of the planet. Esta es la metáfora por de lo que ha sido descrito como la kundalini del planeta. So look at the metaphors and look at the symbology of what is going on now. Mira la metáfora y mira la simbología de lo que está sucediendo ahora. I'm going to use terminology that my partner has never heard before. Voy a usar terminología que mi socio nunca ha escuchado antes. Forgive him if he does not pronounce it correctly as I present it to him. Se lo, discúlpenlo si no lo pronuncia de la manera correcta conforme nosotros le entregamos la información. He may choose not to speak it at all. Puede que elija no mencionarlas para nada. So we will use the best language we can to describe what the ancients drew to you as the Kundalini. Así que usaremos el mejor lenguaje que podamos 
para explicar lo que los ancestros eh, dibujaron o expresaron para ti respecto de la Kundalini. They drew it as a graphic and yet it is energy. Lo dibujaron como un gráfico, sin embargo es energía. The Kundalini represents the balance of male and female. La Kundalini representa el equilibrio de lo masculino y lo femenino. Even within the human body, the ancients drew it as a representative of procreation. Incluso los ancestros la dibujaron como un símbolo de la procreación. Indeed, it represents the male and the female balanced together. De hecho, representa lo masculino y lo femenino cuando están en equilibrio con lo uno con lo otro. Coming together with great energy. Se juntan con mucha energía. To create perfection and balance. Para crear perfección y equilibrio. And now we apply that same principle to the planet. Y ahora aplicamos ese mismo principio al planeta. As we have discussed before, planet Earth is male heavy because it represents most of the Northern Hemisphere's population. Como hemos dicho antes, el planeta está muy cargado hacia lo masculino, pues tiene mucho de la energía del hemisferio norte que, tiene, que está cargada de lo masculino. The wars on your planet have been from the Northern Hemisphere. Las guerras en su planeta han provenido del hemisferio norte. The conquering of the South, of course, has come from the North. El conquistar el sur, por supuesto, ha venido desde el norte. You might say the northern hemisphere energy has spread to the south, affecting it. Podrías decir que la energía del norte se ha esparcido hacia el sur, afectándolo. Part of what is changing on the planet is a reversal of the roles of north and south. Parte de lo que está sucediendo en el planeta es un revertirse de los roles del norte y el sur. So you're going to start seeing the energy of the southern hemisphere, which is sweet and gentle, affect the north. Entonces van a comenzar a ver a la energía del sur, que es dulce y amable, afectar al norte. Therefore, the kundalini moves southward. Por lo tanto, la kundalini se mueve hacia el sur. Over a period of time, which I'm going to give you in a moment. Durante un periodo de tiempo que les entregaré en un momento. Let us look at the mythology, let us take a look at the ancient knowledge. Miremos la mitología y miremos el conocimiento ancestral. And then let's look at the metaphor involved. Miremos la metáfora que está involucrada en esto. Now be careful, my partner, for this is now technical. Ahora, cuidado, socio mío, pues esto ahora es técnico. Not physics, but spirituality. No respecto de la física, sino de espiritualidad. The kundalini is coiled at the bottom of the spine of the body. La kundalini está enrollada en la parte inferior del cuerpo. It only uncoils when the male and the female is balanced. Y solo se desenrolla conforme lo masculino y lo femenino se equilibran. It wraps around three energies of the body three and a half times. Se enrolla y desenrolla alrededor de tres áreas del cuerpo tres veces y media. Wraps around what is called the lingam. Se enrolla alrededor o recubre lo que se llama lingam. Three wraps represent easy unwrapping parts of energy. Tres vueltas representa um, un envolver cómodo, fácil de energía. And the final half wrap represents the most difficult part, which is the divine enlightenment of balance. Y la última media vuelta representa la parte más difícil que tiene que ver con lo iluminado divino. When the kundalini unwraps and stays that way, cuando la kundalini se desenrolla y se queda de esa forma, you have a balanced human being, if not even enlightened. Tienes a un ser humano en equilibrio e incluso quizás iluminado. This is the metaphor of the planet and it is beginning. Esta es la metáfora del planeta y está comenzando. Some years ago we sat at a country which represents a portion of the bottom of the Kundalini. Hace algunos años nos sentamos en un país que representa una porción de la parte inferior de la Kundalini. 
And we said that the unwrapping process would also create a physical movement of the planet. Y dijimos que este proceso de desenrollarse también generaría un movimiento físico del planeta. We mentioned approximately where it would be. Mencionamos dónde sería aproximadamente. And it took place. Y ocurrió. These are the kinds of things physically you will see as the movement of the planet responds to the metaphor of the energy I'm speaking of. Este es el tipo de movimiento que verán conforme el desenrollarse de la energía ocurre en la metáfora de lo que les estoy hablando. Now here is something hiding that no one has brought forth. Ahora aquí está algo que se esconde de lo cual nadie ha hablado. It has been known that three and a half times is always the formula for the unwrapping of the Kundalini. Se ha dicho que tres veces y media es siempre la fórmula de el desenrollarse de la Kundalini. The timing, however, has been unknown. En la duración, sin embargo, ha sido desconocida. Since it had to do with potentials of human consciousness and not the future. Dado que tenía que ver con potenciales de la conciencia humana y no el futuro. Therefore, every single year that goes by becomes a surprise. Por lo tanto, cada año que pasa se convierte en una sorpresa. The movement of human consciousness and the energy of it is an unknown even to you and I. Pues el movimiento de la conciencia humana y la energía es desconocida incluso para ti y para mí. There are factors in human consciousness that are exponentially at play. Hay factores de la conciencia humana que son exponenciales cuando van ocurriendo. It's not a linear progression of consciousness. No es una progresión o un avance lineal de la conciencia. Therefore the surprises about when things might happen do not follow a linear pattern. Por lo tanto las sorpresas de cuando las cosas pueden ocurrir no siguen un patrón lineal. Or expectations of any linear system. O no siguen ninguna expectativa de un sistema lineal. But there is a time frame. Pero hay una duración o un tiempo, un periodo. There is a 26,000 year alignment of the planet called the Grand Alignment. Hay una alineación del planeta de 26,000 años que llamamos la Gran Alineación. It has been known in astronomy as the Galactic Alignment. Se le ha conocido en astronomía como el alineamiento galáctico. In order for the equinoxes to precess through the galactic center para que los equinoccios puedan preceder a través del centro de la galaxia and create this alignment as seen from the earth y crear este alineamiento según se ve de, de, desde la tierra it will take 36 years toma 36 años it began approximately 18 years ago 2012 is the center and you have 18 years left Comenzó hace aproximadamente 18 años, el 2012 es el centro y ahora vienen 18 años más. This is the 36 year window for the unwrapping potentially of the entire Kundalini. Este es la ventana de 36 años para el desenrollarse potencialmente de la Kundalini. Do you not find it interesting that it wraps around the lingam three and a half times? ¿No les parece interesante que se enrolle alrededor del lingam tres veces y media? Each of the three is a decade. Cada una de esas tres es una década. Three and a half would be 35 years. Tres y medio sería 35 años. It's always been the metaphor of the promise of the earth. Siempre ha sido la metáfora de la promesa de la tierra. And what has actually started and begun 18 years ago? Y lo que de hecho comenzó hace 36 años, hace 18 años. But which is now centered. Que ahora está en el centro. That is where the ceremony should be, at the center of the 36 years. Ahí es donde debe ocurrir la ceremonia, al centro de los 36 años. Dear human being, you're sitting in a very, very special place. Querido ser humano, estás sentado en un lugar muy, muy especial. You are the first human group ever to celebrate this movement at the bottom where you should start. Son el primer grupo humano en celebrar este movimiento en la parte más inferior donde debe comenzar. Oh, there have been those who have chosen to come to the bottom on land 
and celebrate the coming of it. Han existido aquellos que han venido a la parte inferior sobre tierra firme y celebrar la venida de esto. Let this go on record that this group now on the ocean at the bottom of the earth is where this celebration starts in 2012. Que queden los registros que este grupo ha venido al océano y a la parte más inferior a celebrar justo en el año en el que debe celebrarse. It is an important thing you're doing. Es algo importante lo que están haciendo. It is an acknowledgement to those who are listening who you don't even know. Es un reconocimiento a aquellos que están escuchando a quienes ustedes siquiera conocen. That you are celebrating that which is starting to be the balance of the planet. Que están celebrando aquello que está comenzando a ser el equilibrio del planeta. 18 years of movement is what you're beginning. 18 años de movimiento es lo que están iniciando. And the Kundalini will slowly unwrap and the center will slowly move to Peru. Y la Kundalini lentamente se va a desenrollar y su centro lentamente se moverá hacia Perú. It is not there yet. No está allí todavía. And it will not be for some years. Y no lo estará por algunos años. But the unwrapping process begins. Pero el proceso de desenrollarse comienza. The unwrapping is not a linear process any more than human consciousness is. El proceso de desenrollarse no es algo lineal, no lo es lineal como no lo es la conciencia humana. But the potential is that it would be unwrapped and in place within the next 18 years. Pero el potencial es que estará desenrollado ya en su lugar dentro de los próximos 18 años. It means the earth is going to move more down here. Significa que la tierra se va a mover más aquí abajo. Perhaps in places you do not expect where there has not been movement before. Quizás en lugares que no esperan donde no ha existido movimiento antes. So celebrate this moment. Entonces celebren este momento. Know this, that you are close to what we would call Antarctica. Sepan esto, que están cerca de lo que llamaremos Antártida. Which is not an ice pole, it is a land pole. Lo cual no es un polo de hielo, es un polo de tierra. And don't you find it interesting that Antarctica will play a role in the renewal of the life of Earth? Y no les parece interesante que Antártida juegue un papel en el renovarse de la vida en el planeta? The biodiversity coming from these parts will affect the planet for the next 18 years. La biodiversidad que viene, que proviene de estas partes, afectará el planeta en los próximos 18 años. It will help renew the ocean. Ayudará a renovar los océanos. Time for you to connect these things. Es hora de que se conecten con estas cosas. It is not a coincidence that the renewal process is also coming from here. No es una coincidencia que el proceso de renovación esté también viniendo, proviendo de aquí. Think about it. Piensa al respecto. The first group of human beings to celebrate this, the renewal process and the movement of the Kundalini, in this year, as far down as this area. Piensa en esto. El primer grupo humano en celebrar la renovación de la, de la vida en este lugar, aquí hacia el sur. So close you are. South, you will be, of the Cape, the Horn. Tan cerca estás al sur o estarás de lo que se llama el Cabo de Hornos. Let the unwinding begin. Permite que el desenrollarse se inicie. Now in the process of all of this. Ahora en el proceso de todo esto. There's going to be renewed interest in Antarctica. Va a haber un renovado interés en la Antártida. You're going to find some interesting things about the land under the ice. Van a encontrar cosas interesantes sobre la tierra que está debajo del hielo. The topography of the land under the ice does not match the topography of the ice. La topografía de la tierra debajo del hielo no se compara o no se condice con la topografía del hielo. Some astonishing shapes will be revealed. Algunas formas asombrosas serán reveladas. Points of mountains are going to be revealed. Puntas de montaña serán reveladas. Giving an entire different idea of what Antarctica might have been and what its purpose really is. Entregando una idea muy distinta, reveladora de lo que probablemente ha sido Antártida y lo que es realmente ahora. The continent that is uninhabitable by human beings may very well be the engine of life for human beings. 
El continente que no está habitado por los seres humanos podría bien ser el origen de la vida para los seres humanos. And I will leave it at that. Y lo dejaré allí. Congratulations to you for listening to the intuition. Felicitaciones para ustedes por escuchar la intuición. And planning the meeting that always should have been planned. Y por planificar la reunión que siempre debió ser planificada. Feel the significance of what you're doing and where you are. Y por sentir lo significativo de donde están y de lo que están haciendo. And in the future years when things start to happen on the planet, remember these moments. Y en los años futuros, cuando las cosas comienzan a suceder en su planeta, recuerden este momento. Or it will coordinate with the message of today. Pues tendrá una correlación con el mensaje de hoy. Blessed is the human being who takes his spiritual life seriously. Bendito el ser humano que toma su vida espiritual de manera seria. It's not an addition to your biology. No es un agregado a tu biología. Your biology is an addition to that which is your spiritual core. Tu biología es un agregado a aquello que es tu centro espiritual. Learn to meld both of them together. Aprende a fusionar ambos. And you will live a very long time. Y vivirás por mucho tiempo. And so it is. Y así es. to be the fire offering that we discussed in the lectures on Ta'at. Unfortunately, when that energy becomes very charged in the sexual organs and in the vital and astral bodies, humanity a long time ago was tempted to go further, to see how far they could take it, to have children on their own without the guidance of the Elohim. What happens then is that these energy transformers, the chakras and the sexual organs, short circuit. You see a conductor only has a limited capacity. Any conductor of energy is like a, a channel or a tube through which energy can move. When you put too much energy there, you short circuit it. You create a loop or a, you create a, a misdirection of the energy and that circuit overloads and that energy escapes into other areas. This is the, what the orgasm is. It's an overcharge of energy. And that overcharge spills out of the sexual organs, out of the chakras and into the surrounding ganglia, into the nadis. That's what we feel as an orgasm. And we think it's pleasurable because the root energy is. What we don't see is that that energy destroys. It destroys the organism gradually. This is why people who have a lot of sex gradually lose their sexual power. People who really become addicted to the orgasm and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it, gradually lose the ability to have it. They become impotent or they become indifferent because these centers become burned out. Now, this is why we see everybody wants to take chemicals to stimulate their sex drive. And there are a lot of chemicals that you can get. This is why pornography became so popular because it, it is an artificial stimulation for the sexual energy. The problem is people are so addicted they don't realize that that energy is destroying them. It's put in the wrong places. That energy, which is extremely high voltage, is being put in places that cannot direct it and manage it. People go mad. The brain gets messed up. The nervous system gets messed up. This is why people who are addicted to masturbation and sex develop all kinds of mental and emotional problems. Many of them end up in sanitariums. We don't talk about this, 
on the news, as you look into it, you'll discover. Anyone who's worked in a mental hospital will tell you most of the people there are addicted to masturbation, the majority. Why? Because of desire run amok. Because that, as that energy destroys and destroys and destroys, it takes more and more energy to feel anything. People become desensitized, so they seek greater and greater forms of stimulation. In other words, more and more extreme sexual practices. Little by little. Lifetime to lifetime. Gradually. Subsequently, the mind degenerates. The heart degenerates. The person becomes more and more of an animal. You can look around in the world and you'll see the evidence of this. Thus, the serpent is condemned to walk on the belly. Worse, God says, and you shall eat dust all the days of your life. What is this dust? This dust is the dust that Adam comes from. Remember, Adam is taken from the dust and will return to the dust. We've talked about the dust in other lectures as well. This dust not only relates to the Adama, the ground, the body, it is also the archetypes of the soul. You see, the serpent is condemned. It cannot perceive the, the superior worlds, but it consumes the potential to realize them. This is a subtle Kabbalistic phrase that basically says, the sexual energy, when polarized negatively, traps the consciousness in hell. The archetypes that we should be using to create the soul are trapped inside the ego. And thus the serpent eats dust. And it says, And I shall place enmity between you and the woman, between your seed and her seed. And this is that eternal painful conflict that we have in sex because of desire. That enmity, that conflict that we always have sexually. We're in and out of relationships, in and out of love or lust or whatever we think it is. Satisfied for one moment and dissatisfied the next. Never finding what we're seeking. So, all of this became heightened in, 19, in the 1960s. All of us can see that. When the age of Aquarius dawned and new cosmic forces were propelled against this planet, the Aquarian forces, which are very revolutionary, we saw our entire society turn upside down. And why? The two great things they emerged, spiritual longing, rejection of the old ways spiritually, and sexual longing. This is because the two are totally related. You cannot separate them. You cannot separate sex from religion. When that Aquarian force hit humanity, all of a sudden humanity says, where is the real religion? And where is real sexual satisfaction? These two questions emerged at the same time. That's because of the force of Aquarius, which is pushing humanity to begin a new era. Unfortunately, because the serpent in us is polarized in the wrong way, we began to experiment with sex and with religion and with drugs and with desire. And we had this so-called sexual liberation, which in fact has produced more suffering and problems than any kind of liberation. There's been more pain created from that than anything else. The same is true of this misguided spirituality that has emerged since this time where people think since the 60s that you can do whatever you want and make up your own religion and reach God. 
And this is a lie. The ancient religions are ancient because they have truths that cannot be avoided. Cannot be avoided. In synthesis, having understood some of the parameters of this energy, we need to understand that it is possible to return to Eden. There is a method. There is a way. All hope is not lost. That method is entirely inside of us. It does not depend on anything outside. It is psychological. It is spiritual. And to do it requires that we return to respecting the law. Do not fornicate. Do not eat the fruit of the tree of knowledge. We have to learn to utilize those forces with respect. And that way invoke the Divine Mother to be present and guide us. Whether we're a single person or married, this is our work. The single person can utilize all the spiritual practices, prayer, meditation, pranayama, runes, many, many techniques. But if they don't do the psychological part, they will either gain nothing or just more suffering. We have to prepare an environment for the Divine Mother to inhabit. And that environment is inside of us psychologically. This is why in the Bible Jesus said, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Both the serpent and the dove are symbols of the Holy Spirit. To be as wise as a serpent is to have this wisdom or knowledge of the polarity of Kundalini and to know how to use it. To be as harmless as a dove is to respect the law, to follow the guidance of God, not our own selfish will. Jesus also said we have to raise the serpent on a staff as Moses did. We do that by following the law. Moses raised the serpent, the fiery serpent, it says in the Bible, on a staff. This is how we work through Moses' willpower to raise the serpent up, Shushumna, to the brain. And as it ascends, it recovers all those lost senses so that we can see God again. And this process occurs in degrees, many degrees. 33 degrees in each body. And only Adam and Eve in cooperation can do this. In other words, a married couple. It's only a married couple that by combining the two bodies can create and originate enough energy to awaken the sleeping serpent. A person working by themselves cannot do this. It's impossible. Because a person by themselves cannot rectify the mistake that we made in Eden. That mistake can only be rectified by a man and woman who cooperate with each other. Furthermore, either a couple or a man and the woman working together can experience this energy. And there are many types of experiences that can emerge. When we talk about awakening of Kundalini, in the Gnostic tradition, we're talking about spiritual birth. In some other traditions, Hinduism and Buddhism particularly, they talk about awakening Kundalini, and they say even a single person can. In fact, even Shivananda says this. But he's not discussing the second birth. He's not talking about being born again, which is what we're talking about in Gnosis. When Shivananda or Naropa, or Marpa, or any of these teachers who talked about using Dumo or Kundalini and awakening that, they're talking about lighting a candle or lighting a match. When you meditate, when you practice, and you bring those conditions together so that flame can emerge, that is an awakening, but it's temporary. It will be there if there's fuel and conditions. And that's how you can have experiences in meditation. You can have comprehension, intuition, 
insight, experiences out of your body. All of these things are produced by that. But don't confuse the lighting of a match with the creation of a sun. The light that comes from a match is small and temporary. A sun, on the other hand, is a whole other level. And that's what the second birth is. The second birth is the emergence back into Eden. That awakening is completely different from sparks or flashes of Kundalini, Kundalini's energy activating a chakra. Be clear on that distinction. There are a lot of people in the world who talk about having experiences of awakened Kundalini, but understand it in context. They may have these experiences, but it doesn't mean they're positive. They may be negative. They may also be fantasizing. They may also be lying.
uh, this gives motivation for the people to learn about Bitcoin. Y la parte del juego consiste en lo siguiente. And the game part uh, consists in the following. Explicas a la gente, mira, esta es la cla clave privada, que es la clave secreta. You explain to the people, look, this is the private key, which must be secret. And uh, you have it and uh, me. And uh, explicas, esa persona y yo mismo la tiene. Y antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié un poco de idea de hasta cuatro años. First I thought of five years, but then I changed uh, my opinion to four years. Later explain. Después lo expli explico por qué. Les dices, mira, tienes cuatro años para poner esta cantidad de Bitcoin a otra dirección. Si no lo, lo has quitado después de cuatro años, yo lo quito. So you explain them, you have four years to take this Bitcoin out of this direction, of this secret uh, key direction. If uh, you don't do it, uh, I do it after these four years. So you lose this. That's the, this part of the game. It's uh, la parte del juego. He creado este hashtag uh, BTC4 para hacerlo un poco popular. I created this hashtag BTC4 to make it a little popular. Antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié a cuatro porque te has dado cuenta que en los Simpsons la gente tiene cuatro dedos. Y Solo do, Dios tiene cinco dedos. Um, first, I thought of five years, but then I changed my mind to four years. Um, did you notice that in The Simpsons, people have a four fingers and only God has five fingers. Uh, I'll show some pictures. Voy a enseñar algunas imágenes de los Simpsons. De los manos y dedos de Simpsons. Some pictures of the hands and fingers of Simpsons. Uh, pero antes quiero recordar que um, es muy probable que en también cuatro o cinco en los próximos años el valor de Bitcoin puede subir mucho. Just want to remember before that uh, the price of Bitcoin, the value of Bitcoin can rise very much in these next years. Así que si solo pones una cantidad pequeña más tarde puede ser de gran ayuda. Even if you just put a little small amount later, it can be big help. Uh, no solo para... Bueno, es un juego. <laughs> si la persona lo quita antes de cuatro años, para, es para esta persona. Si no, es para ti. Si te recuerdas y guardas bien la llave privada. So uh, it's, this is the game part, if uh, the, the person takes the money out, it's for that person, but if they forget it after these four years, you can take it out, and it can be really... <laughs> bueno, imprimir también la llave pública y la llave privada, y si por ejemplo, okay, first translate. Print, and not just the private key, 
but on also the public key. Así que si por ejemplo explicas a la gente, mira, si alguna persona quiere enviarte Bitcoin pero tú no tienes ninguna dirección, así que puedes dar este, esta llave pública a la persona. Mira, muy bien, la llave pública, no la llave secreta, das a esa persona o cualquier persona y te pueden enviar Bitcoin a esa dirección. So, remember, uh, the public key you can give to anybody and if somebody wants to send you some Bitcoin and, you, and this person doesn't have any, so you have already this public address where they can send you Bitcoin. ¿Qué es Bitcoin? Bitcoin es la primera moneda digital descentralizada. Los Bitcoins son monedas digitales que puedes enviar a través de Internet. Comparado con otras alternativas, Bitcoin tiene numerosas ventajas. Los Bitcoins son transferidos directamente de persona a persona a través de la red sin pasar por un banco u otro intermediario. Esto significa que las comisiones son mucho menores, Puedes usarlo en cualquier país, tu cuenta no puede ser congelada y no hay prerequisitos o límites arbitrarios. Miremos cómo funciona. Los bitcoins son generados en todo internet por cualquiera con un programa gratuito llamado Minero de Bitcoin. Crear bitcoins requiere una cierta cantidad de trabajo para cada bloque de monedas. Esta cantidad se ajusta automáticamente por la red para que los bitcoins siempre sean creados a un ratio predecible y limitado. Tus bitcoins se guardan en tu billetera digital, que te resultará familiar si usas banca digital. Cuando transfieres bitcoins, una firma electrónica es añadida. Pasados unos minutos, la transacción es verificada por el minero y es almacenada permanente y anónimamente por la red. El software de Bitcoin es completamente abierto y cualquiera puede revisar el código. Bitcoin está cambiando las finanzas de la misma manera que la web ha cambiado el periodismo. Cuando cualquiera tiene acceso al mercado global, florecen grandes ideas. Miremos algunos ejemplos de cómo los Bitcoins están usándose hoy en día. Puedes comprar videojuegos, regalos, libros, servidores y calcetines de alpaca. Existen varias casas de cambio donde puedes intercambiar tus bitcoins por dólares, euros y más. Los bitcoins son una gran forma para que pequeños negocios y autónomos reciban publicidad. No cuesta nada empezar a aceptarlos, no hay cargos o comisiones y recibirás negocio adicional de la economía bitcoin. Para tus primeros bitcoins y más información visita weusecoins.com Bueno, ahora voy a enseñar algunas imágenes de los dedos de Simpsons. Now I'll show you some pictures of the fingers of Simpsons. The four fingers, los cuatro dedos y cinco dedos de Dios. The four fingers and five fingers of God of Simpsons. Thirteenth of March.
Right now, there are more people on the internet than there were on the planet in 1960. We're raising money. And it's easier to be discovered than ever before. It takes a full team to make each one of our videos. But the internet needs better software to help us reward one another for our work. Advertisers value you differently. They say that 1,000 of you is only worth $6. Any help is very much appreciated. Please fund this project. We need your help. Try to shut us down. Or 
turn around, let us storm. We got the warnings, let us march from the morning through the night. We gon' fight and close the eye and hope and throw all these damn secret societies. Why we gotta stand for the new world proprieties? The evidence is clear, we're naive to the lies. Illuminati wolves killing sheep. 